very important to threaten all the pieces like that. That's just fun. Notice I don't pre-move in those situations because it's more fun to drag the pieces around the board. Also because the pre-moves are too dangerous. I only pre-move things that are safe to pre-move. Hey, look, guys, we might get the main line. We'll see how far this main line goes. Also, I don't know if I should be concerned that my opponent's like spending 5 to 10 seconds and moving, spending 5 to 10 seconds and moving, spending 5 to 10 seconds and moving. At least it seems he broke that cycle here. So, um, yeah, I don't think I should be concerned about that. I think he is a legit opponent. I think at this point he's legit, though. But I don't know. I mean, earlier it was looking extremely super ultra suspicious. I, I, um. But I don't think he's playing this accurately anymore. So, I'm guessing that it was just a coincidence. And I speak, I say the word accurately because I kind of sort of know this opening. Um, I've played it a lot, it's a lot of fun. My bishop belongs here. Moving the bishop is a higher priority than trading the rook. Um, I don't understand that move at all. It's a very odd move. The good news is if I survive this game long enough, and if he is somehow maybe a computer, he won't be able to keep up with the time control at the end of the game. So at that point I will be playing against... I'll know that I'm playing against a real player, a human player at that point. Um, so if I can just survive this long enough...
Also, I have the benefit of um, this more or less follows one of my previous games. Um, or at least there's a lot in common between it and a previous game. So I already know what Stockfish thinks of this setup, and it thinks that... Um, well, I just know that a lot of the plans I'd normally go for here don't work. Um, like things like dropping the knight on c6. No, it has to go to like f5 or e6 instead. Um, a lot of the things that I would normally fall for, I would not. I no longer am going to fall for because I know that they're just not good here. So I kind of have some advantage here, a uh, knowledge edge, if I'm playing a human player. I just know that a lot of the things that I could fall for, I'm not going to fall for. Um, can't afford that move. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, that's probably the right way to play this position. And black is better here. Um, so, now I'm completely with you that here I'm just kind of toast. There's not very much I can do about it. Um... I'm doing what I can to try to confuse the situation, but it's not going to work. Um, I forgot that that just hangs the pawn. That said, I'm impressed by how incredibly thoroughly my opponent knows this opening that he's probably never played before. I'm curious how many games he's played on this server. Um, and how many times he's actually played this setup. Um, Maybe I could learn a lesson or two or five from him about what's the right way to play this opening. Um, Yeah, the fact that he's not made any mistakes in his any of his previous games doesn't surprise me. Um, I know that I'm playing against a very strong player. <laughs> I mean, even if he isn't a computer, he's one of the strongest players of all time. 
Um, I'm going to reserve judgment on whether I accuse him or not until after this game. But it is kind of a foregone conclusion, isn't it? Uh, uh, but I'm not going to accuse him yet, because I don't know. Uh, that said, bishop d5 is coming, and I'm kind of opposed. Um, But, man, if this guy played this opening, and if he, like, actually knows it, I would like to see all of his games. Because I can learn a lot from such games. Um, it's a really fun system, and I think that there's a lot more to learn about it. But, I'm guessing it's nothing so fantastic. I'm guessing, well, I don't know. Queen H2. Uh, well, that doesn't take the cake. Yeah, I don't know what does. Queen H2. Truly, my opponent has nerves of steel. Uh... I, I could still maybe win this, you know? Let's not discount that possibility. The queen e7 doesn't mate. It doesn't even come close. Um, move the knight to a good square. I mean, I've beaten computers before. Not online, but um, just on my PC, I've beaten it. So as long as I just keep making threats, he'll have to keep responding. I could still maybe win this. It won't be easy, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I completely agree, man. Like, um, okay. Like, any human would play the obvious move. Like, the obvious move is just trade queens and win it. Um, any human would do that. But I don't know. Maybe my opponent sees something better. So, I give him the benefit... Oh, yeah, okay, so I lose a knight. That's actually something a human could find. They could see that this tactic wins the knight on c6. I do accept that that is something a human... What the hell? Um, okay. I don't understand that move. Either greedy or. Yeah. It seeks to displace my king to c1 to ease the promotion. Very methodical. Um.
Okay, so there's no stopping the pawn. So maybe I can at least get some checks in. Adding time to my clock. Uh, what do I do here? Huh. Um. I'm not just stalling for time. I'm actually trying to find a good move. Yeah. I mean, he might be a legit player. I have no idea. Um, I'm just saying there's suspicion, but I, I don't know. I've been reported, like, myself being an engine. Or, I'm sorry, I've been reported other people think that I'm an engine on some other sites. Um, so I totally give people the benefit of the doubt. But things are worth reviewing, too. Let's take a look at this. I'm curious, um, like... <laughs> well, okay. Well, let me think about this back. Let me first ascertain the truth of the matter, and then figure out how much I want to bet. That's fair, right? <laughs> I mean, if it turns out that he's some GM in real life, and he has no access to an engine, then... Um, then I might be a betting person. Generally, I'm not. Okay. Oh, you guys can't see that. Uh, let me unfull screen this for a second. So, oh, you still can't see it. At least just change their layout. Well, fine. I'll give you the URL. Um, just for those curious. So here's the URL to the game. Um. You'll note, see this here? Average cent upon loss for me. This is me playing. I got 21. That's like one of my all-time low average cent upon losses. And some of that's probably because Stockfish doesn't like this gambit in the first place. But the rest of that is because I really know this kind of position. And, oh, I'm sorry, the rest of this blunt, uh, average cent upon loss is probably when I accidentally lost my knight on c6. I played, like, an extremely strong game for white. Um, and even against such really strong play for me, my opponent got zero inaccuracies, zero mistakes, zero blunders, and an average sent upon loss of three. And sorry that doesn't capture on the stream, but... Um, so, an average sent upon loss of three either means... Like, and I didn't say that he's a computer. I said he's one of the strongest chess players ever. He's extremely methodical, and he's got nerves of steel. Now, it could be that I'm playing against, I don't know, one of the world's top chess players. But, I mean, I, I think that's something that Lee Chess is going to investigate. That was a fun game, though. Actually, I'm curious. I really had a lot of fun with that game. I want to look at it again.
Uh, I don't really care that I lost, because, like I said, I don't have a very strong opinion about my rating. Uh, so, I mean, I really like this game. It's a fun game. Uh, and I'm curious what happened here. Because I'm always looking for ways to play this better. Um, oh, Bishop G5 is not the best move. Okay. Maybe Bishop F4 is better. Like, this is an opening I have so much fun with. Yeah, I mean, this is probably Carlson, you know. Out at a bar, having a drink, and at the same time using the Lee Chess mobile app. Uh, I mean, what else could it be, right? Um, he just happened to stumble across my game. He said, you know what, I'm tired of getting all this money from chess.com. I want to just play a free game. And I want to play against Tadovsky, and I want to play the Italian game Classical Variation Greco Gambit Muller Thurkant's Attack. Because that's just an opening that I want to start playing, like, in tournaments over the board. So let's practice this one against Toad. Because, you know, he knows this opening, and I really want to learn it from him. But, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to argue against anybody who claims that he's a computer. I'm just, all that I'm arguing is that he's extremely, impeccably methodical with his play. Okay, so here's something I can learn. Uh, F3 would have been a better move for me. I guess, yeah, this prepares knight e4 and knight f6. So this would have been a an improvement over my play. So these are sorts of things that I can find and reuse um, in blitz games and tournament games later on. Uh, <laughs> well, no, I said let me get the facts first and then figure out how much I'm willing to bet. Um, right now I'm only willing to bet zero. But maybe you can find somebody in the chat who wants to bet with you. Um, currently, the amount I'm willing to bet is zero, though. I'm, I'm really not taking any stake in saying that he's not a computer. I'm just saying, like, he's very methodical, he's an extremely strong player, and against the possibility, um, I mean, I offered a queen trade here. He had numerous chances to, like, trade queens, and he didn't choose to do it. I'm just saying he's got nerves of steel, and he's a very strong and methodical player. Um, and Lee Chess could figure out the rest. I don't need to make any accusation. <laughs>